God of wonder, you made all this. Not only the livestock and the house animals, but the wild creatures, the birds and the fish. The sky is so blue we want to dive in. Fluffy clouds so soft and white. Fast moving rides that can take us to the moon. Games everyone wins. Juice in the cup so sweet. Taste so good we want to. shown with her. Every time I go to show and I get my placing, it's always like a win to me. Because if I try my hardest, it's always a win. Showing a cow is actually a, a good privilege because then you get to learn a lot of things, like how to show an animal and how to show a cow. Going to the farm is actually kind of a symbol of life because life and death are kind of symbols. So when you go to the farm, you see a cow and some people know that animal people, when they die, they might turn into a spirit animal. So some of the cows here might be people, old spirit people. Oh, I'm so excited. There's something very liberating about being, nobody knowing who you are. Got it? I can eat whatever I want. It won't show show. <laughs> there you go. I'm going to see over here. Hello, world. I'm coming. <laughs> you got to look through the mouth. Am I a pumpkin? Am I 
maybe a watermelon, but I'm not, I'm a bushel board. People don't understand that it's not a vegetable, it can't be eaten, so they're like, well, what is it for then? But it dates back to during times of prior to um, Tupperware. <laughs> it's the older version of Tupperware. And they've been used for um, African Americans, Native Americans, Southern America. They've all used the large boards for hauling water, for making drums. How have we seen the fair change of that? Um, more vendors. We, we never used to have like the fast food vendors come in. It was basically all um, homemade stuff, homemade food. Um, there wasn't a lot of vendors or anything. And he enjoyed it because you knew it was somebody down the street that made homemade bread or they made preserves, stuff like that, canned vegetables. They still do it, but it's more commercialized now. Lemonade, fresh squeeze lemonade. We squeeze to clean. Dini Donut. No large, no waiting. What size? Large. Large. I thought it was a free reason. Give it, right? I knew it. You bought my earlier and I was like, don't do that. I only do it two days a year, so it's good. Two wild guys yesterday. Good. One flavor. Yes, sir. You guys want anything? Is this yeah, well, how can we help you? Can I get a burger? Some pork cog and chog. It's in the, oh, do I have to go get it? She short change it? That's fake money, that's fake money, that's fake money. That looks like fake money. <laughs> I can't touch money, I got gloves on. They're nasty. Money is probably dirtier. Freestyle motocross, it's kind of like you're having like this good dream. You're just kind of like riding, you're in kind of a flow state. You think about the trick you want to do and you do it and it's working. And then like when you crash, it's like reality. Like, oh yeah, like this stuff's really dangerous, <laughs> like, you know? So it, it gets ugly fast, but like more people would do it if it wasn't dangerous. So it's just kind of the like yin and yang of the sport. It's really dangerous, so not a lot of people do it. So people want to watch it, and, and people can say whatever they want, but like they're here to see something go bad too. You know what I mean? So it's it's the duality of it, you know. The middle goes to the edge. The edge goes to the center. Problem is now it's not worth a buck. Now it's only worth four quarters. But you can have a lot of fun with one of these at a 7-Eleven. But I digress. Let's see if I can twist that back to its pristine. It's slightly wrinkled, conditioned, like so. Can I get 25? I wonder what it wants, please. Six. I'm not going to the drive. Uh, you're going. I got six last time. Oh, we're on the big east. Wait, but. 
Oh, we can yeah, go. We did it. Last time I, I did that one, I was so sick and knocked on my face. Yeah, Adrian, that's fine. Oh, yeah. We're gonna do it again. No, my God. <laughs> I got really sick last time I won this ride. Yeah. I'll just say and watch. How long have you guys been working on it for? But yeah, I used to do art a while ago. I'm like into photography now. Like starting to get into it, yeah. What up? Uh, I don't know. I just like capturing stuff. It, like. A moment in time. That's it. That's like the craziest Oh, there's probably like those uh, state troopers with like like really big guns on them. I don't I have never seen something like that before. That's crazy. <laughs> soft. Whole generation soft. How old were you when you first came? I don't know, five, six. I was walking around by myself, five, six. You know, my brother or somebody, yeah. Their yeah, parents in town, they just get the, get out, go, here's somebody, go. They got three days without you. Oh, yeah. Yeah, they just let you go. No one's getting kidnapped back then. I think it used to be like $3 to get in. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's, uh, it's expensive, it's crowded. And then when you're a kid, you get paid to be a police explorer, and then you get paid for parking. So, you know, you, you graduate, you start here going to the fair, and you end up working at the fair, and picking up trash, working for the Petersons, and you get paid. So you make money on the days you're not actually doing shit. And so then your kids cool. go to school here, and you volunteer for all the parent groups. Yeah. Yeah. What's the most beautiful thing about the parent groups? You can see people you haven't seen in 20 years, and it's just like you left off yesterday. Yeah. yeah. It's always, it's, it's, it's a part of your history. It's been here, what, 103 years or something yeah. like that? And you just don't miss it. You just don't ever skip it, you know? It's, it's a wonderful tradition. What's the ugliest thing? So you're doing a timeline. It started as an asteroid when it came into our atmosphere. It became a meteor id. When it hit the land, it became a meteorite. These are strinobacteria, first form of life. It grew through all the gunk on Earth. These are trilobites. They're all extinct with no living relatives. They tend to absorb whatever they fell into when they died. This crinoid died, rotted away with the shell of the head, fossilized. The tree branch fell down, got covered. It took up the shape of the bark. So it's called a trace fossil because nothing is there of the tree, just the trace of it. And that's where we got our coal and our oil. As the animal grew, they grew wider. We get two sets, they get four sets of teeth. This is all mother nature at its finest. So nothing is ugly. So to the east field. You are there? Chin up so I can do one game. What? You want help getting down? There's some seats here. Mm -hmm. no. Come on.
microphone over to our longtime announcer, Rosemary Naples, and give her a chance to say hello to all of you. Well, it's a pleasure to be here. I've been trying to join here for so many years, and now I can sit back and enjoy it without having to work. Have a wonderful day, everyone.
I won, obviously, the champ, and I won last year. Are you spending time in Nope, just in and out. In, get my trophy, and go home. Next question. What does it feel like when you're in there? I kind of describe it like the Wizard of Oz when they're doing like the tornado scene, where you just see like stuff going around. You just see all sorts of cars, crazies, hearts will come off, tiles will come off, struts, you'll run shit over. There's nothing like it. There's nothing like winning. There's nothing like the adrenaline. Can you hear anything? Like, can you hear the crowd? Like the crowd? Not really. When I win, that's when I hear the crowd. Every day is a day of wonder, imaginative God, filled with fast-moving rides that can take us to the moon and games where everyone wins. You rub the sleep from our eyes so we can see you in our animal-filled barns and the children watching chicks hatch and the teenager at center stage and the older couple enjoying memories. From the sounds which alert us to a new day to the lights that chase away the darkness, from the animals in the barn to the dog awaiting treats brought home, every day is a day of laughter, smiling Christ. We hope no one sees us as we try more fair food made so abundant and we smile from our walk. We put yesterday out with the garbage and wait for the delivery of each new day and we discover that every day is a day of joy, spirit of gladness. Help us to play with you, God, in community, holy and one, even as we pray to you each and every day, saying, He's got the whole world in his hands. He's got 
Buffalo.